Today, I will be master of my emotions. The tides advance, the tides recede. Winter goes and summer comes. Summer wanes and the cold increases. The sun rises, the sun sets. The moon is full, the moon is black. The birds arrive, the birds depart. Flowers bloom, flowers fade. Seeds are sown, harvests are reaped. All nature is a circle of moods, and I am a part of nature, and so, like the tides, my moods will rise, my moods will fall. Today, I will be master of my emotions. It is one of nature's tricks, little understood, that each day I awaken with moods that have changed from yesterday. Yesterday's joy will become today's sadness, yet today's sadness will grow into tomorrow's joy. Inside me is a wheel, constantly turning from sadness to joy, from exultation to depression, from happiness to melancholy. Like the flowers, today's full bloom of joy will fade and wither into despondency, yet I will remember that as today's dead flower carries the seed of tomorrow's bloom, so too does today's sadness carry the seed of tomorrow's joy. Today, I will be master of my emotions. And how will I master these emotions so that each day will be productive? For unless my mood is right, the day will be a failure. Trees and plants depend on the weather to flourish, but I make my own weather. Yea, I transport it with me. If I bring rain and gloom and darkness and pessimism to my customers, then they will react with rain and gloom and darkness and pessimism, and they will purchase not. If I bring joy and enthusiasm and brightness and laughter to my customers, they will react with joy and enthusiasm and brightness and laughter, and my weather will produce a harvest of sales and a granary of gold for me. Today, I will be master of my emotions. And how will I master my emotions so that every day is a happy day and a productive one? I will learn this secret of the ages. Weak is he who permits his thoughts to control his actions. Strong is he who forces his actions to control his thoughts. Each day when I awake, I will follow this plan of battle before I am captured by the forces of sadness, self-pity, and failure. If I feel depressed, I will sing. If I feel sad, I will laugh. If I feel ill, I will double my labor. If I feel fear, I will plunge ahead. If I feel inferior, I will wear new garments. If I feel uncertain, I will raise my voice. If I feel poverty, I will think of wealth to come. If I feel incompetent, I will remember past success. If I feel insignificant, I will remember my goals. Today, I will be master of my emotions. Henceforth, I will know that only those with inferior ability can always be at their best, and I am not inferior. There will be days when I must constantly struggle against forces which would tear me down. Those such as despair and sadness are simple to recognize, but there are others which approach with a smile and the hand of friendship, and they can also destroy me. Against them too, I must never relinquish control. If I become overconfident, I will recall my failures. If I overindulge, I will think of past hungers. If I feel complacency, I will remember my competition. If I enjoy moments of greatness, I will remember moments of shame. If I feel all-powerful, I will try to stop the wind. If I attain great wealth, I will remember one unfed mouth. If I become overly proud, I will remember a moment of weakness. If I feel my skill is unmatched, I will look at the stars. Today, I will be master of my emotions. And with this new knowledge, I will also understand and recognize the moods of he on whom I call. I will make allowances for his anger and irritation of today, for he knows not the secret of controlling his mind. I can withstand his arrows and insults, but now I know that tomorrow he will change and be a joy to approach. No longer will I judge a man on one meeting. No longer will I fail to call again tomorrow on he who meets me with hate today. This day he will not buy gold chariots for a penny, yet tomorrow he will exchange his home for a tree. My knowledge of the secret will be my key to great wealth. 
today I will be master of my emotions. Henceforth I will recognize and identify the mystery of moods in all mankind and in me. From this moment I am prepared to control whatever personality awakes in me each day. I will master my moods through positive action and when I master my moods I will control my destiny. Today I control my destiny and my destiny is to become the greatest salesman in the world. I will become master of myself. I will become great.